to a new Hints and Theories video, this time about episode number 9, the last one with actual tasks in it. And with that, hi, my name is Julia, and here on this channel I present you Hints and Theories that will hopefully help you figure out who the mole is. And yeah, in only one week we will know who it is. So if you're still not sure which mole to pick, I definitely recommend to watch this video here. And by the way, in the upcoming days I will also upload short videos about all three finalists, one video about each candidate and present you all the most important hints and theories leading to that person as the mall. So if you want a little recap of the last weeks then make sure to subscribe to this channel here to not miss any of those videos. What a pitiful case that he had to leave the game right before the grand final but it makes things a bit easier for us as there are only three candidates left who can still be the mall. and I would say we jump right into task number one to check out all the suspicious things that happened there. And we started right away with Fons, who uh, kind of took the lead in suggesting who should pick which bag of money. Um, so he suggested just to pick the one right in front of them. The more, of course, would very likely know which bag was worth how much money. And if Fons is the more and wants to win some trust back, because we know from last week that he was the least trusted candidate, then this is a way to pick the lowest amount of money make sure to be the only one who will definitely make it to the end of that task and win that little bit amount of money for the pot to get some more trust as the mole. To be honest that could be a strategy for a mole to play like that. I personally think it would be more strategy if mole would pick in one of the earlier episodes like in the beginning, when you still want to gain more trust, when you want people to trust you, um, to not be too suspicious in the beginning, but I do not see that as a mole strategy for the last episode with actual tasks. But still, it could be a mole strategy. Then we have Rosario, who uh, well mentions quite directly that he's good at puzzling and that he definitely wants to do one of those puzzles. And then he suggests that Anna should do the second puzzle and not the third one, which is the most complicated one. If he's the mole, then he would of course know how long it took him to solve those puzzles before the show started. So I assume that if he's the mole, he of course knows that it took him some longer time to solve the third puzzle and he wants to make sure that this one uh, is not solved, that at least his money um, does not go into the pot because it was relatively um, safe that Anna would be able to solve the puzzles and maybe even faster than him if Rosario is the mole, faster than the mole in the third puzzle case. So. All in all, a very weird acting of Rosario to get Anna to do that second puzzle. Also the way he tried to f convince Fons that they should let Anna do that. All in all, a bit suspicious here. And last but not least, one uh, Anna hint people have found for task number one. And that is when she's doing the puzzle, we get to see her reflection in that screen of the tablet. And then we get to see her reflection in the same shot in the same frame together with the icon of Feast the Mall, with the logo of Feast the Mall. So it could be a hint to Anna as the Mall. Last but not least, both Fonts and Anna say the correct word so that their money gets into the pot, which I think is actually more of an anti mall action of both of them. And then we jump to task number two, which was a fun one, but actually super easy to mall there. So you basically could have more than both position being underwater or being at those tables with the keys. Um, so let's have a look at case and funds. Well, we know that case won't be the mall anymore, can't be the mall anymore. So if Fonz is the mall, then it would be easy to mall there. Just calling out the most important name from the correct key, even though you haven't heard that one, uh, we know that the mall knows which key was the correct one, so just shouting that name, making sure that Rosario or, or Anna uh, put that one important key away, super easy to more there. Or 
the other way around. It was also easy to mold there for Anna and for Rosario, both of them standing at those tables, not really being watched by the others, so you could easily put one of those keys away, um, throw it away, put it in your clothes, like Anna could have put it in her t-shirt, or even more likely if you're in the Rosario tunnel, such as I am, um, then Rosario had a swim shorts on with little pockets, so just put the right key in the pocket and then it's gone and the others, and the others will not realize that and will not check that. Also, by the way, we've had it about Rosario's hearing aid and that is why he was not allowed to dive there. So this is also a reason for him to be in the position at the keys, which I personally think would the more prefer, but still even underwater could have been mauled. Last but not least, an anti action from Anna here in this task, because when they realize that they do not have that much time anymore, she actually calls out for help, so Case comes to her and checks her keys. As a mole, you would not really encourage the others to check your work, uh, to actually have a look at the fact if you did something wrong or right. So more of an anti action, I think. After the second assignment, we had probably the highlight of this episode because the candidates got to meet the fortune teller one more time. And before they meet her, all of them have a little talk with Rick. And Rick says like, are you a candidate, are you a winner, or are you the mole? And then we get to see a shot of Fonz who nods. Maybe a nice hint to Fonz as the mole. And then they can finally meet the fortune teller and get to see all of those faces, one of them being the mall. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen your mall there. I think that it could be very likely that it is the person from which we could only see like the side and a bit of the head um, because they kind of showed us a frame with Fon's shoulder hiding the face of that person, so I assume that this one could be the mole. From all the other faces, I did not really recognize any of them, but maybe you've seen your mole there, so let me know that. And yeah, of course, super exciting. And then the final test, it's still all a bit unclear there. I have a feeling that Anna um, thinks that Fonz is the mole, and Rosario obviously thinks Anna is the mole, but I'm not so sure what Fonz actually did in the end and who he has voted for. So I'm definitely still very excited about next week who will win the game and who is the mole. Yeah, there were all hints and theories to episode number 9 so far. Let me know in the comments below if you've spotted anything else and who your mole is. Also, do not forget the upcoming free videos about each candidate and the most uh, important hints leading to that person as the wall. And I'm so looking forward to hearing all your thoughts about this last actual episode with tasks. And then next week at this time we will already know who the mall is. And of course we will talk about uh, all the mall actions that person did and the hidden hints and theories. So we will definitely see each other back next week here as well to the hints and theories video to episode number 10 the last one of this season if you do not want to miss any of the upcoming videos make sure to subscribe to this channel here follow me on instagram and i'm so looking forward to reading all of your thoughts your ideas your hints and who your more is until next week bye